Sherlock walks into the flat 221 Street. He is wearing a scarf and has squinty eyes. Then he sees John sitting on the chair in the flat. The flat is pretty and has many books in it. Hello, John, he says. Hello, Sherlock, John says, but bitchily. What are you, on your period or something? Said Sherlock, also bitchily. But John can sound way more bitchy because Morgan Freeman plays him. You should know I'm not a girl after you spent all night sucking my dick, huh? Said John. John has the hots for Sherlock, even if he has squinty eyes. I bet John has a squinty eyes fetish. What? Said Sherlock, because he was deducing and was not paying attention. Oh, nothing. I guess it was a dream, said John, sadly. Oh, cool, said Sherlock. He's kind of dumbass, lol. Anyways, I came back from the store because Lestrand says we have a new case. Oh, really? John said. He got up and walked over to Sherlock. Wow, that's cool. He we should go, said Sherlock. Lestrand will be wondering where we're going. Some time later. The crime scene was very bloody. It was at a museum. Everyone was there, even Anderson. Everyone's a bitch on this show, and so was Anderson. Anderson walked over to Sherlock, and there was some black chick by him. She kind of looks like the girl from Being Human. Lol, I love that show. You should watch it. Hi, Freaklock, Anderson said. He's a jerk, but he gets a lot of dick. He's a pimp, lol. Why don't you go fuck a dinosaur, Anderson, said Sherlock. Jerk, and also you're cheating on your wife. What, said Anderson? Even though he's a pimp, he's still lame. He And he ran off. But he didn't fuck a dinosaur, like Freaklock said. I know I'm not that good, but the story isn't bad. Yee, please review! Then the Strand came by and made stuff more interesting. I like him, he's cool. Hi, Sherlock, he said. How's the case going? Good, said Sherlock. I think I know the killer. Wow, Sherlock, you're so hot, said John. What, said Sherlock? I mean smart, said John. I know, right, Sherlock says. Can you tell me who the killer is? Sherlock looked down at the body and narrowed his already squinty eyes. Then some white words, it happens in the show, guys, don't flame me, appeared in front of him. The killer is Anderson, Sherlock says, because he is a douche. Okay, arrest him, guys, said Lestrand. Thanks, Sherlock, for your help. No problem, said Sherlock. Cool. Then they took Anderson away, but someone was watching from the shadows. Someone who would want revenge. Two days earlier, Anderson stepped through the doorway of the door. Inside it was a bunch of creepy stuff like spiderwebs and a fish tank with deadly fish and a hammerhead shark in it. And so was Moriarty. I hate Moriarty. I like to call him Moriarty. <laughs> Anderson sat down at the table across from Moriarty. Hello, he said. Hello, Anderson. Why are you here? said Moriarty. Well, Jim, I was wondering if you could fix something for me, said Anderson. Get it? Because in the show they say, Jim, can you fix it for me? What? said Moriarty. Well, you see, in the future, this guy called Sherlock, said Anderson. Oh, I know him. He's tawesome, said Moriarty. I.K.R. Anyway, he arrests me in the future, so I need you to kill him, said Anderson. How do you know the future? Moriarty said it. Well, you see, said Anderson. Flashback. Anderson is in the 21 Baker Street when he touches Sherlock's skull. Not his real skull under his skin, lol, his unreal one on the shelf. Then he, dun dun dun, could see the future! Flashback over. Cool flashback, said Moriarty. I know, right? You know, Anderson, you're really pimping. Well, it's true, read the first chapter of my story. So I think I will kill him for you. Thanks then, said Anderson. You're welcome, said Moriarty. Back at the flat in the present time. I wonder what Jim is doing now, said Sherlock. Yeah, me too, said John wistfully. Last time we saw him, he was at the pool. Remember, it blew up because you shot the bomb and then the water began to explode. Moriarty jumped away in his motorcycle copter and his snipers fired up their lasers into the smoke and climbed up them. I pushed you into the water below and can you guys tell I'm trying to add more description to make it God? <laughs> saved us from bogged. And then Mycroft came in and saved us. We never saw Jim again after that night. Yeah, John, I know. I was there, Sherlock said. John did not like Moriarty. He liked to call him Mori Farty. Ha <laughs> ha! Like me. Because Sherlock obviously liked him better. Sherlock was a smart man who needed someone to keep him interested. John was simply a boring army doctor. He would never be as good as Jim. He looked over at the skull which lay on the shelf and had an idea. Present time. Sherlock and John were having dinner at a restaurant. Angelo was there. It's funny because Angel O, and yeah. And they were eating spaghetti because that's what Italian people eat. Or maybe Angelo is Spanish, I can't remember. And Angelo brought over some candles and it was nice, but then a guy with a gun crashed through the window and shot Sherlock dead and he fell to the floor dead and John said, Oh no! and held him in his arms. A single tear dripped down his cheek and it was very sad. Every one of the candles in the restaurant was blown out. It was sad. Who, said John, will solve the case of Sherlock's murder if he's dead? It was a sad day. Back at the flat, John was stinging there sad when all of a sudden the door opened. It was a familiar face. It was... Dun dun dun! Sherlock! Wow, said John, you're back! I know, said Sherlock. What do you mean? You died! No, I didn't, said Sherlock. What? Yeah, I didn't. Why do you say I did? Because you did! Hmm, said Sherlock. Okay, said John, and then he went outside. And then he saw Mrs. Hudson, who is the house cleaner, and she said, John, I need to talk to you. Okay, he said. Mrs. Hudson said, Look, Sherlock died. Yeah, I know, hmm, said John, but he's here. Yes, I know, said John. See, what happens is when Sherlock touched the skull, he thinks he saw the future. But really, his future self was swapped with his past self, so his past self died and his future self lived. 
Oh, said John. Okay. Look, Moriarty is trying to kill Sherlock's future self. You have to help him. John thought about what would happen if Sherlock was a stripper. I deduce that you are sexy, he said. What, said Mrs. Hudson? Nothing. Okay, bye, said John, going back. Future Sherlock was there and he said, hi, John. Hi, Sherlock. One day later. Okay, hi, said Anderson. You said you killed him, but he's still alive. I know, said Moriarty, because he touched the skull too. Oh no! Yes, which means that your past self has been arrested and is in jail now. Good, said Anderson. No, not good. I mean not good, said Anderson. Good, said Jim. Anyway, we need to kill the other Sherlock too, okay? Okay, wait, no, pay me. Okay, I'm a pimp, so I have lots of money. Calls. One day earlier, Sherlock touched the skull. One day later, at the flat, John touched the skull. Dun dun dun! Present time. John told future Sherlock about the thing. We have to go back in time and kill the man whose skull it is, said Sherlock. If we can make the skull not exist, then we do not die. Okay, said John. Don't you have that friend with the blue police box? No, no, he's looking for his friend's baby. Oh yes, what about that angel who can travel in time, said John. No, he's God now. Get it, guys? Ha 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 ha, said Sherlock. So what are we going to do? IDK. God, Sherlock, you're such a dumbass. I know, said Sherlock, starting to cry. No, Sherlock, don't cry, said John, and hugged him. Thanks, John, said Sherlock. You're so nice. John liked future Sherlock. He likes him when real Sherlock only likes Jim. This was nice. Thanks, you're nice too. One day later, John was out buying silk when he saw Anderson walking on the street. Wait, I thought he was arrested. Hmm. Oh no, said John. I have to tell Sherlock. Back at the flat. Okay, Sherlock, I saw Anderson. Yeah, so? But you arrested him because he was a douche. Well, he is, but I never did that. But you did. I was there. Oh, maybe that was my past self. Oh yeah, maybe. And then they had sex. One day later, Sherlock was shot dead by Moriarty. You bastard, said John. He was going to kill Mori Farty. Ha! Huh? When all of a sudden, Sherlock walked through the door. Oh my god, Sherlock, you died. No, that was my future self, said Sherlock. Oh, yay, said John and hugged him. John, why are you hugging me, said Sherlock. Oh, yeah, John said sadly. <laughs> then he remembered that it was future Sherlock that liked him and not past Sherlock. So yeah, sad. Anyways, Anderson has escaped from jail and we need to find him. Damn that pimp, he escaped. Yeah, I know, let go, said Sherlock, and him and John ran off into the horizon. Day later, all of a sudden, John died. It was very sad. Sherlock went to the funeral. Violins played in the background and John was in a casket. All of a sudden, dun dun dun, John walked in the door. Hi, Sherlock, he said. Oh no, you died, said Sherlock. I deduce that you are alive. See, that was my past self that died. I am fine. Oh, John. Oh, Sherlock. You are alive. I know, isn't it wonderful? Yes, it is. Meanwhile, I didn't tell you to kill John, I told you to kill Sherlock, said Anderson. I know, I didn't kill him, said Moriarty. I only killed Sherlock. But he's dead. No, he's alive. Check. Anderson checked. Okay, he's alive. Are you happy now? I'm always happy, said Moriarty. I have a motorcycle copter. Who wouldn't be happy? I see, said Anderson. Anyways, I need to kill Mycroft. Why? Because he knows too much. He is the government and he's getting suspicious, okay? Okay, I'll pay you. Anderson gave Moriarty the money and then he said good luck. Okay. One day later, Mycroft was found dead and was baked into a cake that he couldn't eat because he was dead the end. And since he never touched the skull, he couldn't come back. He gave Sherlock his umbrella and the skull watched the whole time. Watching. Watching. Watching.